Tom McMillan, pastor at John Knox Presbyterian Church. On Mondays, we do a, a little clip on the rest of the story from Sunday's sermon. And I kind of like a chance to reflect a little bit back on where we were. We looked at Isaiah saying, you know, come all you who are hungry, who are thirsty, without money, without anything else, just come and receive the provision of God. Why do you spend your money on that which is not bread and your labor on what doesn't satisfy? And Jesus is saying also, come to me, those who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens. So I think we are trying to understand what does our weariness mean? And what does it mean to actually allow ourselves to rest in the love and provision of God? English poet and author and scholar C.S. Lewis, he wrote, it may be hard for an egg to turn into a bird. It would be a jolly sight harder for it to learn to fly while remaining an egg. <laughs> we are like eggs at present. And you cannot go on indefinitely being just an ordinary, decent egg. We must be hatched or go bad. <laughs> we like to think we can just keep going on like where you're going on and our weariness, but really we can't. You either kind of go bad with your attitudes, your actions, your cynicism, your bitterness, or you hatch. And part of the hatching, I believe, is being honest, being real before Christ, saying, I'm, I'm lost. I'm exhausted. I need you. I need you to help, to save, and teach me to fly. Teach me to live. Teach me to actually understand what this life is about and what I'm meant for. That's what it looks like to almost be reborn and to receive this purpose and a presence in our life that not only provides rest, but also renewal and direction and fullness of what life was meant to be. Remember, you're not alone. God cares for you, and so do we.